Hello everyone, myself Manjit Baisha uh, and my partner Loni Bora. Together we have done our final year B-Type project. Our topic was design of a MOSFET only Gilbert cell based IF mixer for 5G applications. As you can see, this is the outline of our presentation. As of introduction, we would say that uh, 5G is the current uh, broadband uh, technology in uh, wireless mobile communication. It provides higher data rate, lower error, and lower latencies. And it is a very hot topic right now. So we decided that we would make a small contribution in this field. These are some of the papers we take a reference from. As for motivation, as I have already mentioned that it is the current broadband uh, latest generation broadband cellular technology and in research can be done at this current time will surely provide a huge help uh, future times will require higher data rates and lower latencies along with low power consumption as we are talking of a generation of augmented reality virtual reality cloud computing self driving cars and so on our three main objectives in this project where low silicon area and low power dissipation, high conversion gain with low distortion at 5G millimeter wave, low power local oscillator and low resolution analog to digital converter support. Problem statement. These are the three main problem statement. Most of the IF mixers are not capable of providing higher conversion gain at higher frequency bands. This limits the use of mixer in a 5G receiver. The, to provide a satisfactory noise figure at higher frequency is another challenge. A good noise figure will make it prominent candidate for 5G applications. Versatility of the design always gets limited if the design consumes more area and more power. So realization of a design with only limited number of MOSFETs can help us to attain both the goals. As you can see, this is a flowchart of our entire project. For the first phase, we studied single stage differential amplifier, uh, then we studied single stage differential amplifier with MOSFET only configuration, then we studied differential amplifier and MOS current source configuration, then we went for Gil generic Gilbert cell and Gilbert cell with MOSFET only configuration. In phase 2, we started with Gilbert cell LC ladder configuration and then we finally ended with Gilbert cell MOSFET based configuration. This is the reference block diagram. Above you can see that this is uh, an, uh, the architectural design of a super heterodyne receiver. Below is a block diagram of a receiver that we have designed for our own simplicity. So starting from here we will be discussing about our project course. This is a single stage, amplifier, uh, single stage differential amplifier. As you can see this is a transient analysis which obviously is not a very good result. Uh, so the three things, three main things we are to perform in this uh, analysis are gain correction, amplification, and DC offset correction. For uh, for gain correction, we have varied the input voltage and checked the resulting output voltage. As we can see from the four graphs, it's around like 120 millivolt the uh, of input voltage. The, uh, car, uh, output car graph seems to be sinusoidal and satisfactory. Next, we had to amplify the signal and also to minimize the DC offset. For amplification, we wanted to check with the input impedance, that is the resistances connected at the inputs. Uh, by varying the uh, value of the resistances and then checking the outputs, we found that at about 111.5 kilo ohms, the output was pretty sinusoidal and amplified. The only thing remaining now was the DC offset minimization. For DC offset minimization, we found that the current source was mainly responsible. As a result, we decided to vary the value of the current source and then compare it with the VF. At about 16.2 microampere, we almost corrected the entire DC offset. So these are the main design parameters or the single stage differential amplifier and this is the result that we have received.
moving on from the single stage differential amplifier next we have the single stage differential amplifier but with mosfet only configuration in this the main difference of this new configuration as compared to the other is that the resistors have been replaced with pmos this serves two main pur purposes number one the resistance uh, the uh, resistances have become now variable that is upon the application of biasing voltage by controlling the biasing voltage we can now control the re input resistances as a result we do not have uh, to incorporate a soldered resistor which cannot be changed later on rather we will have a pin that is connected to the outside world and then we will apply a voltage with the resistance that we are required as you can see that this is uh, this is some of the transient analysis that we have done the major problem at this uh, result was that even though we have done a lot of analysis we could not conclude much of a good result as a result we moved on to the next phase in this circuit configuration we have grounded the body pins of the two NMOS as a result this is the design parameter final design parameters that we receive then for the third configuration we are going for current mirror differential amplifiers in current mirror differential amplifiers we are trying majorly to remove the current source as we know that the current source uh, will practically take up a lot of space in the circuit as a result we are trying to avoid it in order for that we have introduced two NMOS and then control them with a current source this current source is different from the other one as this can be manually triggered from out of the circuit or this can be uh, placed in common with other circuit uh, sources requiring a current source this is the transient analysis for this graph or for this configuration these are some of the parametric analysis that we have uh, produced on this circuit next we have a generic Gilbert cell configuration there are uh, many configurations for a IF mixer generic Gilbert cell is also one of them but uh, even generic Gilbert cells have many configurations we have taken the one that has no capacitor and no inductor rather it has a pair of resistors this is the transient analysis as you can see at the right so next we decided to change the resistors and then insert two PMOS with a biasing voltage at right you can see that these are the required uh, free transit analysis next we have decided <coughs> to do two analysis uh, varying biasing voltage with output voltage and vary, varying the current source uh, as a result the last graph produced here is a corrected transit analysis this is the spectral graph of the given circuit as you can see that at 100 megahertz we have a spike and another one is at 4.9 megahertz as we already know that if mixers are uh, known for producing uh, multi-tone signals with at least two frequencies one that is the addition of both of them one that is a subtraction of both of them subtracting two input frequencies that is 2.4 gigahertz and 2.5 gigahertz we get 100 megahertz and adding them we get 4.9 gigahertz these are the comparisons that for phase one and phase two so for phase two we have first done the lc ladder configuration this is the circuit design and this is the initial transient analysis then these are some of the parametric analysis that we have ran over it these are some more this is uh, one of the major analysis that we have done we can see that the noise uh, of the given circuit varies with the first pair of NMOS 
uh, while increasing the width while increasing the width of the nmos from one uh, uh, almost 120 nanometer to above 4 into 10 power 9 meters we can see that the noise figure has gradually decreased this is the resulting noise figure this is actually the comparison of uh, the, the middle graph when plotted against height these are the s parameters produced for this circuit as we can see that s12 and s21 are the most important ones in here as of s11 it's very low which is required as of s22 is very low which is also very favorable s12 is very low which is a good sign that there is no power uh, the very little power is reflected from port 2 to port 1 but as of s21 it is uh, almost equal to almost near to zero which means that there is a favorable power transfer for one to two one of the greatest limitations of this circuit was the conversion gain which we received as minus 37.7 db as we are working on increasing the conversion gain we need to do better than this this led us to our final design this is the mosfet based mixer design this is the initial transient analysis these are some of the transient analysis that we have done the major takeaway from this circuit is the conversion gain as we can see here that we have received a conversion gain of 1.4 db which is the basic foundation 4 db which is the major finding in our project these are the comparative analysis of our work with some others uh, the paper one that we have mentioned is a single paper which con uh, consists five different circuit uh, configurations our work was done in 90 nanometer technology whereas that also was done in 45 nanometer technology these are the conclusions that we have received we have finally received a conversion gain of 1.4 db from lc later circuit we have received less parameters we have successfully replaced all passive sources with mosfets all current sources with mosfets and we have decreased overall size as much as possible some of the future uh, actions of our project are better understanding of dependent variables we need to understand more of how the dependent variables uh, of an IF mixer change we will attempt further on reducing the overall silicon area we will attempt on reducing the noise figure we will attempt further analysis of s parameter as you can see the, for the last circuit we were unable to perform the s parameters and we will also attempt to add on the power consumption these are some of the papers that we have taken reference from thank you